things is actually pointed directly at us, then again we're talking about electrical superstorms uh, that this thing will cause. Que si esto viene directamente hacia nosotros, pues que provocará una tormenta solar fuerte. Now, here's the thing about the EMP is that Europe is putting together a smart grid. In other words, they're actually making arrangements for EMP and for some of this. There are other places on the planet that haven't got a smart grid. Those are the first ones that go down. They can switch around their transformers. Right. So as far as the parts of the planet that will really be affected by this, it's North America, South America, Australia, and Indonesia. Las partes del planeta que más afectados van a estar por esto serán Norteamérica, Sudamérica, eh, Indonesia, Australia, 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 Australia. 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 Australia.
Yeah, that's why they're... Oh, that's another good point, is that, I mean, when this thing hits the upper atmosphere, actually the solar system, and enough of it comes through, that the GPS satellites will go down. Yeah, the GPS satellites aren't hard enough for EMT, but not enough for this. Yeah, well. Also, I mean, these super waves affect the entire galaxy at once. It comes from the galactic core. So again, preparations, food, always good to be <laughs> around. Yeah. Clean water, shelter. Uh, when this thing impacts the Earth, again, you're going to see the electrical superstorm. So any kind of shelter inside of a something non-conductive. Steel buildings, again, is a bad idea. <laughs> Yeah. Is a guy you're coming to And let's see, Geiger counter would be good to have around. Uh, something for pets. And even though it looks really scary, it is survivable. <laughs> <laughs> because this happened to our ancestors. This happened to our ancestors. <laughs> Actually, it's not going to affect us as much as our technology. <laughs> Dice que un casco. Y ahora le preguntaremos más en esto. Y tendremos que tener velas también, por si no vamos a tener velas también. What this is going to do is cause a lot of cooling inside of the solar system because of the, the gamma impacting the, the upper atmosphere. Okay, from the from the fire to the frying pan now. <laughs> so earthquakes and nuclear meltdowns. We're going to go to man-made disasters. So earlier, I really didn't get into this, but all of those other disasters can affect these nuclear plants. So, anyway, many of the plants have the same design, unfortunately, as Fukushima. They have substandard maintenance in many plants. A substandard? Mantenimiento mínimo. Insuficiente. Or maybe none at all. Duct tape. So, anyway. Um, Fukushima released many times more radiation than Chernobyl, but 
that was simply three plants. We're going to be getting into maps later that will show you the relationship between these earthquake zones and where they put these plants. That, I'm just warning you ahead of time, that's the scary part. Dice que Fukushima ha liberado mucha más, muchísima más eh, radiación que Chernobyl y que, que además está en una zona volcánica, y, o sea, de terremoto yeah. y que ya veremos, va a ver más adelante cuántas están situadas en, este, en esta zona sísmica. That's why we need to have these shut down because if, if any of those disasters that you saw happen before and we're going to get a dozen Fukushimas. Yeah. And the northern hemisphere may be rendered uninhabitable if that happens, but it's preventable. That's the, the map of all the nuclear reactors. Also, notice that this is a seismic zone. That's a seismic zone. There's another one that runs right through here, where many of them are. That's another seismic zone. And then there's one over here in South America. <laughs> also, we were mentioning that at the hospital, one in, in Italy, there's two in Italy, right in a seismic zone. So, anyway, um, let's take a look at Europe. Oh, that's good. Let's zoom in. Yeah, another interesting point about this is fission reactors take two days for a complete shutdown. If you have an earthquake, you don't have a warning for that. That's why Fukushima happened. Los reactores de fisión nuclear que tardan dos días en poderse cerrar, es imposible que se puedan cerrar a tiempo. Tardan dos días en venir la tormenta, se lo avisan y tardan dos días en cerrarse. Y que, y que los terremotos no tienen aviso. No llaman. Podrían, ¿eh? Porque saben, saben predecirlo, pero... There's a fault line that runs right down here. I did see. You can see. And that's where There's quite a ways from where we are. And I have been there. It's a bigger threat than tsunamis or earthquakes. And the radioactive release is worse than a nuclear war. The radiation releases worse than a nuclear war. Now compare this one with this one. That's the earthquake map. I know you can't see it very well, but most of these reactors are located right here. And here. Estas son las zonas sísmicas donde ocurren los terremotos y que todo, casi todos los, los reactores están justo encima. They correspond with where they've located the reactors. Se corresponde a donde están situados los reactores. And this was the release when Chernobyl went. Just Esta one es, reactor. Esta es la, la zona afectada por la, la reactividad de Chernobyl. Yeah, yeah, Turkey's there too. Yeah. Oh yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, the map does yeah, that's just for one reactor. Okay, uh, potassium iodate supplements. Uh, 
los que sea sin ah, Dice que en este caso habría que tener suplementos de potasio ayudado. Uh -huh. but, but the first thing you do is just leave the area immediately. Claro. Unfortunately, that might mean leaving the planet. <laughs> okay, en este caso se supone que habría que dejar el área lo más rápido posible que podría suponer salir del planeta. Dile que yo voy a apuntar. Again, uh, just consume only food and CO containers.